All right, I'm back. Well, uh, if you don't know what's going on, my capture card crapped out, and uh, I've been trying to get a replacement going. Hasn't gone too well, but uh, I'm still on it. I'm I'm still I, I still want to do the channel. I know it's been a while, but today uh, I'm just going to throw out a short video. <clears throat> It's uh, it's basically just a text box. I feel like I covered this for the original Petit Computer. I didn't do it for uh, Smile Basic. So here we're going to take a look at the code. At first, uh, first line, start off clearing the screen. <clears throat> the second line is the priority for the graphics. And I, I just set everything to minus 20. It, it doesn't really mean much. And that's just something I do automatically. I set the color, um, and then that's the color for the text. Uh, four and five, I'm setting colors to variables so that I can just sub those in to the the boxes whenever I draw the boxes on lines seven and eight. Now, you, you don't have to set a variable for your colors. You can just take that last parameter on Gbox and then just put RGB and then all that nonsense, and it works just the same. But uh, I like to do it like this, just in case I need to use those colors over and over again for you know anything at all. And uh, so, so G box draws a box, G fill draws a box, and then fills it. I, I feel like I've covered all of this before already, so I'm just going to skip over it. If you don't understand it, you'd always check the function guide. The function guide is your friend. Don't be afraid to, you know, look through it. And, uh, okay, so we get to the loop. Um, I declare a variable B uh, set as button. I'm going to locate and print all of my text. Pizza is delicious. Yes, no, the arrow. Good stuff. Now, uh, on line 19, I have if B equals 8 then locate and print space. Now, what this does is uh, it prints a space over where the arrow would be if you press a button. And, uh, okay, so line 22, arrow right. I have, uh, I'm setting B equals button again. I'm locating and printing my arrow this time. I'm printing it over next to no. And uh, on line 25, if B equals 4, then locate 23. Um, I don't have to read all that out. Basically, what it's doing is it's just it's printing over uh, the arrow again. If you press the, I want to say left uh, button. And then uh, it will go back to the loop if you press the button. If not, it will go right back up to your arrow right loop and uh, try again. Just keep listening. And then I have uh, wait 200, and then uh, it clears the, clears the screen of graphics, and it clears the screen of text. Now, there's, there's definitely better ways to do this, but you know, until I get my capture card going, I want to just make everything as simple as possible and hopefully fit on one page because i got to type all this out. Now, as far as the capture card goes, I'm thinking about setting up a Patreon. I don't know if that's something you guys would be into. I, I, I want to make videos as free as possible. I don't, I don't want to charge people for this kind of stuff. But um, I would like to raise some money to get another capture card because it makes this whole process a hundred times easier. And, uh, and I can obviously make tons more videos if I don't have to deal with a capture card. I don't know when the next video is going to be, but I'm, I'm going to try to make something. I'm going to try and keep this going, guys. Just bear with me.